Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is insane. Molly, I, I'm not sure I like this. I'm not gonna be able to sleep for a week. There it is, let's go. Hello, me fan. Dizzy, don't be such a chicken. It's only Amanda the Adventurer. The Amanda the who? The Amanda the creepy? What's she gonna do to that cute little sheep, by the way? I don't know. She seems pretty evil, though. Girls, hi! It's Mom! <laughs> it's time to go to bed. You know, school tomorrow, that whole thing? Mom, we know it's you, and we know it's school tomorrow. It's the first day of school! Come on, Molly, be a little bit more excited. Go do your night routine! I'm excited about school. Besides, this Amanda the Adventure thing is creepy. I'm out of here. Uh, Mom, I'll do my night routine in like five minutes, I promise. Molly, okay. But make sure you brush your teeth and get your backpack all packed up. Will do, Mom. Will do. Oh, my gosh. I wonder what's going to happen to Wooly. Amanda is just too, too crazy. Molly, go to bed. You cannot miss the bus for school tomorrow. It's the first day. Okay, Mom, I'm going right now. By right now, I mean in five more minutes. What's going to happen to Wooly? Don't hurt Wooly. Don't do it, Amanda. Don't hurt Wooly. Molly? Molly, you fell asleep on the couch in your clothes and everything. Uh, you're obsessed with creepy things on Roblox. Wake up, Molly. You're gonna be late for school. Huh, what? 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 What's going on? Where's the man of the adventure? Where's Chucky? Where's Huggy Wuggy? Molly, that's just video games and shows you're watching on TV. Wake up! <laughs> I thought it was real for a minute. <laughs> What a crazy dream. Molly, the only nightmare you're going to have is if you're late on your first day of school. You're going to get detention. Huh? What? No. No, I just need some coffee. Give me some coffee. I don't function without coffee. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. I see you camped out on the couch last night. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'll never let it happen again. Don't, don't ground me. Molly, you're totally faking those tears. What? Um, uh, well, maybe a little bit. <sighs> I'll make your breakfast to go. Now, go get your backpack. Hurry! I have the coolest backpack in all the school. Molly, what is that anyway? Uh, it actually refrigerates my lunch and all my snacks. It's amazing. Molly, you could have lunch in the lunch room. Yeah, I plan to, but I also need to have... Treats at the ready. You know, mm, when I start to get, like, super hungry. Oh, brother. Um, Molly, I made you a healthy breakfast burrito. Oh, you didn't have to do that, Mom. <laughs> I've got a donut. Perfect food for the first day of school. Oh, boy. Well, girls, <laughs> I'm so sad that summer vacation's over. <laughs> yeah. Me too, Mom. But don't worry. We'll be back next summer. Uh-huh. Okay, well... See you later, girls. Bye, Mom. Have a great day. I know you'll miss us so much. They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> I've got my freedom again. Oh, I love school. I wish they had school every day. Every single day. Well, except for maybe Christmas. But I mean, no. Even on Christmas after they open their presents. Oh, my gosh. I love when the girls are at school. <laughs> there it is. Oh, amazing school. Amazing? Seems like more like a prison to me. Molly, 
Don't be so negative. School is amazing. We learn so much. And, well, there are school lunches. I like those a lot. <laughs> First day of school and it's already pizza day. Woohoo! Daisy, I was watching that show last night and I uh, was wondering what would we do if a man of the adventure was here in real life? Oh, that's ridiculous, Molly. You watch way too much of that stuff. Now, come on, I don't want to be late for class. All right, fine. Molly, sit in front of me. Sit right there. Okay, I don't know why you want to sit by me. Ah, uh, because you're my sister, and also I love to be able to have a first row view of when you get detention. <laughs> oh, very funny. Good morning, class. I'm Miss Bryington, and I'm going to be your math teacher this year. You may have been expecting someone else, but no, it's me. Miss Bryington, we're supposed to have Mr. Smith for math. Yeah, this lady seems kind of crazy. Why is she wearing a hospital patient outfit? Maybe she escaped the insane asylum. Oh my gosh, Daisy, we're all doomed. The entire class is doomed. Molly, what are you talking about? She seems like an ordinary teacher to me. What? What's going on with Mrs. Bryanton? That's Chucky! Ch Chucky is our teacher! Miss Bryanton is Chucky! Molly, what are you talking about? I just see Miss Bryanton there. Daisy, it's Chucky! Excuse me, I'd like you to be quiet, please. We're about to start math. Um, okay, uh, but you look like Chucky. Molly, what has gotten into you? Obviously a lack of sleep and way too many scary things on TV and Roblox. Is he carving something onto our board with, with his axe? Uh, does this not seem a little crazy to you, Daisy? Uh, no, I just see Miss... Bryington with with a magic marker. But, 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 but he's, oh my god, he's writing something. What is he writing? Die, die, die! Oh my gosh, Daisy! I don't know what you're talking about. I love Chucky as my teacher. Oh, oh my god, a man of the adventurer! That's right. <laughs> I'm going to be your classmate this year. And we're going to have so much fun. Especially since my best friend, well, is gone away permanently. Your best friend? Who do you mean? Wait a minute. Do you mean Wooly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he had to, well, go away. Go away where? What are, you, what are you talking about? Ah! I'm out of here! Oh, my gosh. This is the worst first day ever, Amanda the Adventurer and Chucky as my as my teacher. I need some pizza. I need some pizza. Lunch lady, I need pizza stat! Sorry, I can't give you any lunch right now. I'm busy eating all this pizza. What? Oh, where's the lunch lady? I am the lunch lady. Huggy Wuggy's the lunch lady? Ah! Worst first day ever! No! No, Huggy Puggy, don't eat all the pizza, you pig! Molly, wake up, you're having a bad dream! Molly, you're gonna be late for school, come on! Wake up, wake up! Huh, what? Where am I? Oh, I'm home! Oh my gosh, Daisy, we can't go to school today! What, what are you talking about, Molly? Of course we're going to school today! Today is the first day of school, of the entire school year, very important day. No, you don't understand. Chucky is our teacher. Amanda the Adventurer is one of the students there. She sat right next to me and she killed Wooly. And then and, and the lunch the lunch lady is is none other than Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> oh, that's a real whopper of a dream, Molly. Holy guacamole, that's ridiculous. I'm not kidding. I think it was a, 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 a dream, a nightmare from watching the wrong shows, Molly. It might be an omen. It might come true. Sometimes dreams come true. That's not realistic, Molly. Now get your backpack before Mom grounds you forever. Okay, fine. I'm telling you, watch your back. Oh, man, my stomach kind of hurts. Time to go poo-poo. Don't be late, Molly. Excuse me, I'm brushing my teethy weethies. Ha! It's, it's, it's. It's Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> 
I have to brush my teethy weethy so I don't get any cavity wavities. Bye, Daisy! Oh my gosh, look at that granny. Yeah, she is, um, uh, uh. Say it, Molly. She. Ew, she's got boogers coming out of her nose. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Ew, that is so gross. She also has a hairy chin. Ew, yeah, this is this this game is gross already. Um, she looks grumpy, but also Grandpa looks grumpy too. Should we click play? Yeah, well, it can't get any worse than Grandma's nose boogers. Yeah, that that's probably true, right? I mean, it can't get any grosser, can it? I hope not, Molly. I seriously hope not. Molly, look, it looks like we're having a sleepover at Grumpy Granny's house. Yeah, it sort of does, but, um, is there any way out of here? No, Molly, it looks like she might have trapped us in. Whoa, what was that? That looked like a police officer or something. We have to go down here, Molly, and, whoa, it feels like an earthquake. Granny must have ate way too many cupcakes. I feel like that, too, after I get, like, super fat from eating too much. All right, um, Daisy, where are we going? Uh, not that way, Molly, but maybe... Okay, maybe that way. You don't know where you're going, do you? No, we have to find Grandma's cookies. See, the objective is over here. Oh, yeah, find Grandma's cookies. All right, no no, no problem. Let me just sniff them out. Mmm, I love cookies. Let me... Let my nose lead the way. It's gotta be down here, right? That's where I sort of smell it. Yes! Molly, you found the cookies. Great job. I love all the cookies in the cookie, but oh god! You stole my cookies! You did! Oh my gosh. Um, would I like to buy a skateboard? Uh, no. Oh boy, she's after me. Crazy granny, crazy granny, yeah. Find the attic key and get to the attic. Um, why is she still following me? Oh god, she's taking the lift up. Oh man. Uh, good luck. Good luck. Ah, no! Oh, she's got hair coming out of her wart on her nose, too. Gross! Oh, my goodness. She's chasing me again. Are you serious right now? All right. Maybe I have to go down that hall down the stairs. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I just gotta find the attic keys. Well, there's the attic, but, um... Yikes! Yikes! Ah! <laughs> you ugly, Granny. You ugly. Molly, don't make her any madder than she already is. Oh my gosh, I need to find an attic key. Daisy, why'd you abandon me? Oh wait, there's the attic key. Because she's so slow, I want to actually survive. Uh-oh, 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 no! Oh, come on. Alright, um, I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can. Oh gosh, here she comes again. Oh, but now this time I have the attic key. Okay, that's good news. This thing weighs about 20 pounds. This is supposed to run up the stairs with this thing. I'm at Granny's house, and she's kind of gone insane. There you are, Molly. Finally, you made it to the attic. Um, I don't know if this is such a great place to be. It's creepy up here. Yeah, and it sort of smells weird, too. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm good. No, 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 no. Not good. Not good at all. Molly, be careful. There's booby traps everywhere. I sort of noticed. Guys, if you don't know this already, Platinum Falls makes the best Roblox obbies. We always play them, right, Daisy? Yeah, he's a great um game developer. Yeah, we played all of his games pretty much. And this is his new one, so we're pretty excited to play it. So guys, um, if you haven't already, go ahead and um, play this game because it's super fun. Yes! And also slam the like button on our video too. Yeah, don't forget that. Oh wait, what do we have to do? Break the glass? No, Molly, just open it, jeepers. You want to break and smash everything? Well, this place isn't exactly nice. Come on, Molly, up this way. What, what are these, barbed wire? Yeah, Molly, like at a prison. She's captured us. I noticed. Um, At least I got to eat one of her cookies. Hopefully it wasn't poisoned. Wait, we're outside, Daisy. This is good news. Yeah, uh, no, Granny's still behind us, Molly. Holy guacamole! Alright, Granny, you can't run very fast, though, because you're old and you're kind of chubby, so... Uh, Molly, why is there a grave there? 
I don't know. Why was she just chasing us around in circles? There's no objective here. I don't know what to do. Buddy, <laughs> she got you. Ugh, she is so creepy. All right, um, it's okay. It's okay. I can do this. Wait, I can't see anything. Daisy, don't leave me in the dark. Oh, God, there's Granny. I'm at Granny's house, and I'm kind of glad I... I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny's house, and she's totally insane. Crazy Granny, crazy Granny, crazy Granny, yeah. Okay, I don't know where to go. Seriously? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I can go over these garbage cans or something. Oh, God, please don't keep chasing me. Wait, she's still behind me. Oh, God. I don't know where to go. Daisy, I need help. Daisy! Daisy's abandoned me. Oh. Marley, jump into the grave! Oh, okay. Um, where's the grave? I can't find the grave! Jump in it, Molly! Jump! Quick, quick! Oh, no, she got me, but I know where to go now. Okay. All right, where's that grave? Oh, wait, there's Granny. <laughs> Push Granny into the grave. Oh, I can't see anything. It was like I was inside her head. That was weird. Molly, thank goodness you made it! Um, yeah, but this guy, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. He totally died. Yeah, but uh, we survived so far. Oh, oh, down into a dungeon or something. Come on, Molly. Maybe we can finally get out of Grumpy Granny's house. Uh, we're not in her house anymore. Now we're in a grave behind her house. Ah! Oh my God, there's spikes down there, Daisy. Um, yeah, not a good idea to fall down. Of course not, Molly. This is an Abbey Dud. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whew, that was scary. This might be a great time to call on the power of the unicorn. Come on, guys. Say it with me. Power of the unicorn with the smuggly horn. All right. Um, what's this do? How do I get up here? Oh, it just goes on its own. Cool. Something tells me this isn't going to be good, Molly. Um, well, there's only one way to go. Up. Well, what's going on? I don't know yet. I was waiting for you. Let's go up these stairs. Maybe this is finally our escape. If I know Grumpy Granny, I doubt it. But I'm starting to get really hungry. I'm going to stop and dream about cupcakes. Cookies. Ah, ah, I just want to eat them all. Molly, there's no time for that. Come on. I'm eating them in my mind as we speak right now. Whoa, more skulls. Oh, no. Whoa. Uh oh! Molly, if you spent more time worrying about getting through this abbey and less time thinking about cupcakes, I'll never give up the cupcakes. Never! Wait, what's in here? Um, certain death by the looks of it, Molly. Uh, who is that psycho? It looks like a clown, one of Grandma's lackeys. Uh, yeah, that face was terrifying. Alright, um,. I'm just going to stay here. I feel safe here. Molly, you know we can't. You know we have to keep going. Uh, there's no way out. This is just all a dead end. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! There's a lot of creepy zombie things down here. Yeah, definitely. They're definitely zombies. Alright, let me just peek in the door. <laughs> I totally am. I'm going to, like, try to walk in without it getting dark in here and, like, see if I can see where everything is. Honey, is it that cheating? No, it's being smart. Okay, there's one around the corner. And, um, uh, okay, so I think I have to go straight. All right. Maybe left? All right, I'm going to go left. Go on left. Oh, my gosh. It'll be a miracle if I get out of here. Ah! Yeah, totally. Wait, what was, it? what shirt was he wearing? That was weird. Apparently, Daisy made it through, like, a year ago because she's not saying anything, and that usually means she's way ahead of me. And congratulations, Daisy! You're amazing! I'm gonna be here forever. I just know it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Can you skip the stage? Because that would be really helpful. Ooh, what's this? Is it a robot that takes care of you? Transform into a mech bot. Click or tap to fire lasers. Um... Wait, what's this? Become a zombie and infect anyone in your way. Walk up to players and infect them. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Whoa, there are so many things to purchase in here. Um, I want them all. 
Wear this hat and jump to fly around. Okay, that won't work. Um, is that a lightsaber? I might need that. Become a Jedi and slice through any way the lightsaber. Also make you jump higher. Well, can I kill all these guys though? Vacuum players and trap them in the vacuum pack? Um, wow. That is some seriously cool stuff. All right, guys, I'm going left again. Maybe I should go right. I don't know. Oh my gosh, someone's following me. It's a creepy zombie. It's a creepy zombie. There's no way out of here. It's a creepy zombie. I just don't want to die. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I did it! I don't know. I think that was just dumb luck, guys. I don't think I actually, like... Oh, I came up a well. Daisy? Daisy! Daisy! Whoa, did you buy the flamethrower? Yeah, but it doesn't actually work on the zombies. Oh, well, that was kind of a waste of money. Yeah, but I'm just glad to be out of there. That was creepy, right? Totally. What should we do now? Um, well, it looks like, um, we're back at Granny's. What? No, we're not. This is someone else's house, right? I'm not really sure, but, oh, God, there's Granny. Ah! Wait a minute. But, 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 but I thought we escaped her. Uh, no, Molly, I don't think we actually did. I think, um, oh my god, there she is again. Oh, she kind of glows in the dark. Stop kidding me. I think we just fell down of that grave and then we had to do that part. That doesn't seem fair. Why did it make us do that part then? Maybe we could go around this side of the house and hide from her. Nope! There's no hiding from her. No, no, no! Oh my god, I died again. <laughs> Can I vacuum up Granny? Because that would be amazing if I could. Well, I'm going to fall into the wall. Where am I? I don't even know. Um, all right. I can't go back that way. Uh, Daisy, where are we going? Oh, my God. I fell back down into this crazy tomb. I don't want to go down there. Zombies down there. Creepy Granny up here. Molly, follow me. I know where I'm going. I can't. Granny got me again. Sci-fi ninja star. Daisy, please come back for me. I'm right here, Molly Jeepers. Hurry up now before she gets us. She keeps getting me! Ay, ay, ay. She really has it out for you, Molly. Yeah, I guess so. I'm over here, Molly. You got this, girl. You got this. No, I don't. She keeps getting me. Maybe I'll make her chase you around or something. All right, here we go. I'm at Granny's house, and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny. Come on, Granny! Leave me alone! <laughs> you just keep dying, Molly. Okay, maybe she'll get this guy next. Yeah, go after him. He seems like the perfect victim for you, Granny. Wait, where is she? Oh, God, she's going after him. Molly, you got this! I think she went after that guy. Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. All right, can we make it? Yeah, go into this cellar, Molly. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god, the door won't open! Daisy! Oh boy, Molly, I tell you what, you're terrible at Abby's. I'm trying, alright? I'm trying. Whoa, what's down here? More Abby, Molly, what do you think? Platinum Falls. You cray cray, man, you cray cray. Whoa. Alright, I think we can go down this way, Daisy. What do you think? I think I'm gonna die, Molly. It was nice knowing you. Oh, man, that, man, that guy made it. Good for him. Well, TZ, it was nice knowing you, too. Molly! What? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, my God. This is hard. I'm never going to make this. Mwah. Oh, no. I did. I did. I did. I did. I'm so proud of myself right now. Oh, my gosh. Unicorn, if there was ever a time I needed your powers, it's right now. This is the hardest Abby ever. I just want to escape Grumpy Granny and get a cupcake. Seriously, did I make it? Daisy, look at me, I made it. Good job, Molly. Now I bet Granny's going to be waiting for us. Um, uh, no. Uh, a scooter race, though. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> go, go, go on my hover around. Go, go, go on my hover around. Oh! I blew up. <laughs> I got my little jazzy here. And um, I've got to try to make it here. Whoa. Whee! Okay, I want one of these in real life. <laughs> oh, man. Mother, you can't have that. You don't need it for wheels. 
I do need it. I could go get pizzas on this thing. Whee! Hi, Grandpa! Whoa. Whee! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I went off the edge. <laughs> oh. Man, I just want to win so bad. All right, here we go. Let's try this again, guys. Boing, boing, boing. All right, I hope I can do it this time. Whoa! This part is really hard. Oh, God, I don't know how to drive this thing. If there's more, you have to go on this jazzy forever. Go, go, go on my hover around. Seriously, this part's really hard. Are you crazy? Molly, you did it! I can't believe it. I'm so proud of you. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> it was stressful. Alright, Molly, let's go through this door and get out of here. Oh, there's no getting out of here. This place just goes on and on and on. What just killed my sister? I don't even know. Uh, a giant bowling ball or something. Oh, wow. That's cray cray. Molly, no! Oh, it's a giant ball of yarn. Grandma's into knitting, apparently. Oh, wow, it's just sitting there. Um, okay. Well, that was silly. OMG! Daisy, don't get taken out. Okay, there we go. Oh, I see. We just gotta, like, hide. And when the next one comes... Yep. Now we gotta go. Go, 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 go! I made it! Molly, you're doing pretty good at this, Abby, actually. Wait a minute, did we just win? Who's that? Is that Granny? No, Molly. And look, we got a cookie zooka. Uh, I think the cookie zooka is so we can fight Granny. Uh oh. Granny, get in. Molly, back up, because she's about to come out, I think. There's more than one. I'm shooting cookies at her. <laughs> hmm, can I eat some of these? No, Molly, we need them. Hey, why you got on top of me? Ow! Rude. All right, I'm gonna get my cookie Zuka and Granny, you going down, girl. You going down. I don't even see her anywhere. Where is that crazy woman? Cause I'm at Granny's house and I'm kinda sad she came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Oh, come on, why is Granny keep jumping on me? Rude. Gotta go back and get my cookie zooka. Who's this guy? A police officer in there? Boom! You get a cookie at you too. Perfect. Perfect. I'm not afraid of you. Boom! <laughs> boom! Boom! I'm just like running right at him. Boom! 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 Granny! Boom! You can't stand still. Oh my gosh, she gets you so easy. Would you like to buy a flame great sword? Will that take Granny down? Because if it does, that'd be nice. All right, here we go again, guys. I gotta take this Granny down. Granny Geddon is upon us, peoples. All right, here she comes. Die, evil grumpy Granny. Boom. There's so many of them everywhere. I mean, how do I even see where I'm going? And do I ever run out of cookies? I mean, these are the questions I have, people. Ah, there's too many. I can't take them all down. Daisy, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm out. Seriously, Molly? Are you, are you giving up? I think I am. I think Grumpy Granny wins. Molly, don't say that. Don't ever give up. There's just too many of them, and there's only one of us. She's cloned herself. Well, I mean, there's actually two of us, not one of us. There's only one of me. I love that the cookies like are like bombs. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, I think it just blew up that other guy. Oopsie, sorry. Come on! Why is she hitting me so many times? Rude. Daisy, I think we're like never gonna get out of here. Molly, you might be right. Granny, she's she's all powerful. Yeah, she really is. I say we eat the cookies and cut our losses. Yeah. It might be the only thing we can do. Hi, I'm Katie. Isn't this baby super adorable? Well, I was born at Brookhaven Hospital too, 15 years ago, and I was super adorable as well, except I was the size of a peanut. <laughs> at least that's what my mom told me. You see, I was born five months too early. 
That's right, I was a preemie. My mom, her name is Rosie, she was really afraid. She knew babies weren't supposed to come this soon. But my dad, his name is Steve, he told her everything was going to be okay. He just knew it. Honey, everything's going to be okay. I just know it. But, but, but what if our sweet little girl is, is sick or something? I mean, babies aren't supposed to be born five months early. Honey, I just know she's going to be okay. And I need you to relax because whether we like it or not, the baby is on its way. Okay, Rosie, I need you to push. Are you sure? I mean, maybe the baby could just stay in my tummy a little longer. I'm sorry, but she's choosing to come out now, so I need you to push. And just like that, I made my entrance into the world. I had the smallest little cry because I was so small. Can I see my baby? Let me see my baby. I'm sorry, Rosie, but your baby needs to go straight to the NICU. She's far too small and she needs to be on oxygen. So this is me. I spent five months in the NICU, gaining weight and becoming, well, only four pounds, but that was enough that the doctor sent me home. Rosie, why is Katie crying? I don't know. I've never had a baby before. I, I'm just trying my best to soothe her. It's okay, Katie. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. You know, Rosie, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of nervous to have Katie home. I mean, at the hospital, there was nurses and doctors there to take care of her, and she's so little still. I just want to protect her from all the bad things in life. <laughs> Me too, Steve. Me too. The doctor said that, you know, she could have some medical problems because she was born so early. So we just have to be super protective of her. So from that day forward, my parents treated me like, well, I was made of glass or something. I was so fragile that I couldn't do anything. I don't Oh my gosh, is she okay? Is she okay? Yes, honey, I think she's okay, but she's she's almost two years old. She needs to start walking, or she's going to be behind all the other kids. Well, the doctor did say she's a preemie, so it might take her longer. She needs to start talking, too, honey. Ugh, I, I want to protect her, but, but when is she going to do these things? I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, come on, Katie. You can do this. You need to start taking your steps. Come on. It was true, I did do everything late. I crawled late, I walked late, and I talked late. But it was only because I was born so early. Maybe if I take Mr. Monkey, it'll encourage her to walk over here. What do you think, Steve? Well, I think it's kind of mean. Why would you take her favorite toy? I'm not gonna take it forever. I'm just saying, if Mr. Monkey walks across the room, maybe Katie will. Well, I guess it's worth a try. Okay, Katie, I've taken Mr. Monkey because he's walked all the way over here. Can you take a step over here? I get over monkey. Oh my gosh, she didn't walk over there, but she said her first word. Finally, Katie, that's amazing. I do my monkey. Whoa, that was a lot of words all together. Oh my gosh, I think she's gonna try to walk. Be careful, honey. Be careful, you're very fragile. You were a preemie. Come on, honey, you can do it, come on. Oh my gosh, she's doing it. Should we put some pillows under her? She might fall, she might hit her head. She might break her arms. I mean, she's so fragile. I think she's gonna do it. Oh, oh, she did, she walked, hooray! And just like that, I caught up with everyone else my age. I started talking, I started walking, and I even got potty trained pretty quickly after that. But my parents just couldn't accept that I was gonna be okay. Hey, Hannah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Katie from school. Hey, um, I think you're really cool. And I was wondering, do you wanna be my friend? You do? Awesome, um, well, what do friends do? They have sleepovers, really? Okay, well, um, why don't you come to my house in like an hour? Yeah, sure, ask my parents, hold on. Oh my gosh, I think my friend is gonna come over for a sleepover. This is gonna be amazing. Mom, dad, mom, dad. I finally made 
made a friend at school. Mom, Dad, Mom, Dad. Oh, wow, honey, that's awesome. Uh, what's her name? Hannah. Oh, uh, honey, you shouldn't run down the stairs, okay? You might fall and get hurt, and we all know you're very fragile. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, Mom, Dad, uh, since I have a new friend, she said that we have sleepovers, and I was wondering, I was wondering, can she come over for a sleepover? A sleepover? Oh, I don't know about that, Katie. I don't think you're old enough. Mom, I'm eight years old. Of course I'm old enough. All the kids have sleepovers now. That's what Hannah said anyway. Well, um, I don't know, honey. What do you think? I mean, I don't see any problem with it. But they might get rambunctious. She might get a concussion. Well, I have a way to solve that. <laughs> you do? So I can have my sleepover? Um, yeah. As long as your mom says it's okay. Well, you better show me this solution so she doesn't get hurt. Okay, Katie, just hold still. What is this? It's a helmet. It'll protect your head so you don't get a concussion when your friend comes over. You wore one of those when you were a baby for a few months. It helped your head to shape the right way because your head started to have a shape like an egg. It was weird. I am not wearing this helmet when Hannah is here. It's embarrassing. She'll laugh at me. Well, take your choice, honey. If you want to have your sleepover, then you got to wear the helmet. Ugh. Ugh. Fine. Mr. Monkey, I have a friend. Her name is Hannah, and she's coming over for our very first sleepover. I'm so excited. <gasps> there she is now. I hope she doesn't pick on me about my helmet. Hey, Hannah, come on in. Whoa, your house is amazing. Wait, what are you wearing a helmet for? Um, my parents are just kind of overprotective. <sighs> I hate having to wear this. I'm so sorry. I look ridiculous. Oh, don't worry about it, Katie. I'm not even going to pay attention to that. We're going to have the best sleepover ever. Okay, girls. Why don't you come over here for some ground rules? Yeah, girls. Ground rules. All right. No um, running up and down the stairs. No eating peanuts. What? Why can't we have anything with peanuts? Because we're not quite sure if you're allergic, Katie. Mom, I have had peanut butter and nothing bad has ever happened. Yes, but we've only tried it 20 times. On the 21st time, you might have an allergic reaction. See what I mean about them being overprotective, Anna? Yeah, they're really overprotective. Sorry, Katie. Okay, so I made a list of all the rules. I won't bore you guys since it's your first sleepover. Great. Bye, Mom. Remember the first rule. No running up and down the stairs. Come on, Hannah. I'll show you my room. Oh, this helmet is so ridiculous. Whoa, your room is cool. Bunk beds. That's amazing. Yeah, my parents won't let me sleep on the top bunk, though, so you're going to have to. Really? Why? Because they said if I fall off, I might get a concussion. What's your the deal with your parents? They're kind of weird. I don't know. I guess it's because I was a preemie, so they're just worried about me. I was born five months too early. Whoa, are you serious? Yeah, but I'm totally fine now. Hey, um, I told you to wear your bathing suit because we have an amazing pool. Do you want to see it? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Um, Katie, are you going to wear that helmet into the pool? Ugh, I guess not. I mean, my parents aren't around, so I guess I don't have to wear it. Aw, your hair looks so pretty. I couldn't even see it under that helmet. All right, Hannah, you jump in first since you're the guest. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> the water feels amazing. Come on in, Katie. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks for coming to my sleepover. Oh my God, oh my God, Katie! You can't swim, get out of there! Mom, I've been able to swim for four years. What are you talking about, see? Oh my God, get your life vest on. Get your floaty on. Get out of the pool, hurry, come to the edge. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, just take my hand, I'll help you out. Mom, I'm fine. I don't think you're fine. Maybe I need to do CPR. Katie, say something. Mom, I'm fine. All right. Well, I want you to wear your life jacket. That was a close one. Mom, I can swim. Life jacket, Katie. There, now you're ready to go in the pool. Mom, I can't even move. Wait a minute, where's your helmet? You need your helmet. Um, I don't need a helmet. I'm not gonna get a concussion in the pool. Actually, you could get a concussion there better than anywhere else. I have a special scuba helmet just for this occasion. There, now you look very safe. I mean, as safe as you can be going into the pool. 
I agree, honey. I can't believe this is my life. Ugh. Whoa, Katie, what are you wearing? My parents said I have to wear a life jacket and a floaty in this scuba helmet. Well, if you have to wear it, you could still get in the pool, right? Come on in. Somehow, I don't feel like getting in the pool anymore. I, I think, I think this sleepover should be over. Really? Okay. Well, um, maybe some other time. Yeah, Hannah. Sorry to disappoint you. I wish I could say that as I got older, things got better with my parents, but it was just the opposite. They got more and more crazy and overly protective. Now I'm 15 and I can't ever leave my house. I remember the day they decided I could never leave my house again. It was the day that I got a boyfriend. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Luke is calling me. Oh my gosh, I thought he didn't even notice me. I mean, I sit behind him in science class, but he never says anything to me and now he's calling me. Oh, should I answer it? Should I, okay, I'm gonna answer it. H hello? Hey, uh, this is Luke. Uh, yeah, the caller ID said. <laughs> uh, Katie, I was just wondering, um, if you wanted to go to the dance with me on Friday because, well, I think you're really cute and smart and nice and, um, I just really want you to go. Do you want to go with me? Uh, yeah. And today, me and some of my friends are getting ice cream at 3 o'clock. Do you want to meet us there? Brookhaven ice cream? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, well, I'll see you there, okay? Okay, bye. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He asked me out twice. Katie, did a boy just call you? Um, no. What are you talking about? I don't even have my phone out. According to this app that tracks everything you do, a boy named Luke that you go to school with who you sit behind in science class called you. How do you know all that? I know everything. <laughs> I have to protect you from life. Dad, that's invading my personal privacy. That, that, that's not cool, Dad. I don't care if it's cool. I'm just protecting you. And, um, so what was this conversation about? Uh, he asked me to go for ice cream and then to the dance on Friday. I was afraid this would happen. Katie, you're never leaving the house ever again. What? <laughs> you must be kidding, right, Dad? Nope, your mother and I decided that when a boy asked you out, it was just meaning that everything in the entire world is unsafe. And now you have to stay home permanently. I, I, I can't even... I, I can't even talk to you right now. Get out of my room. Um, no, we have an open door policy in this house. I don't care. Get out of my room. All right, I'll allow it this one time. Um, but I'm also taking the hinges off your door because uh, we have an open door policy. Oh my gosh. I can't stand the way my parents are. I know they love me, but they don't let me live my life. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That was the day that my parents locked me away in my house. I thought for forever, until one day the unthinkable happened. Hey Katie, are you hungry? Uh, there's apples in the fridge, your favorite. Yeah, I guess I'm sort of hungry. Katie, you have to eat, you can't not eat. Yeah, honey, just because you're a prisoner here. I mean, not a prisoner. <laughs> That's the wrong choice of words. You're just being kept safe. Yeah, exactly what she said. I do feel like a prisoner. Honey, I know you didn't mean to call her a prisoner, but I sort of feel like maybe she is. Maybe we're making the wrong decision here. No, honey. We have been keeping her safe since the day she was born. And we have to make sure we continue to. She was born five months early. She'll be a preemie forever. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Really, honey? It's only six o'clock. Yeah, I just feel kind of sad. Well, walk carefully up the stairs, honey. We don't want you to fall. Yeah, okay. Ugh, my parents are driving me insane. I feel like a prisoner. <coughs> <coughs> and then it happened. I choked on my apple. I couldn't breathe. I clawed at my neck, but I, I couldn't get any air in. I jumped up and down, 
hoping that maybe I could dislodge the apple from my throat, but, but I couldn't. There was only one thing to do, run down the stairs and get my parents. But as I was running down the stairs, something unthinkable happened. Katie? Oh my god, Steve! Steve, come quick! Katie fell down the stairs! Oh my god, Katie, say something! <coughs> oh my god, I don't think she can breathe! What's happening? Uh, I don't know, she fell down the stairs? Was she running? We always told her not to run! <coughs> Look, honey, she's got an apple! Do you think she's choking? I don't know, I better try the Heimlich! Well, I don't know if that's a good idea! I mean, maybe she broke something! When she fell down the stairs, it'll break it further. Honey, she's not breathing. I have to do something. Okay, Katie, I've got to do the Heimlich. <coughs> oh, I can breathe again. I can breathe. That was the scariest thing ever. I can't believe that happened. I mean, we've been protecting her from everything, I thought. Oh, I can't believe it happened either. It's like life just happened whether we wanted it to or not. Duh, I could have told you guys that. Life just does happen whether you want it to or not. You can't stay locked up in your house and pretend that life isn't going to happen. Bad things happen sometimes and you just have to deal with them. And frankly, I am tired, sick and tired of being trapped in this house with no friends, no boyfriend, no being able to go do anything without wearing a crash helmet. It's so frustrating. You're ruining my life. Whoa, Katie, we were just trying to keep you safe. Yeah, honey, we were just trying to keep you safe. Well, keeping me safe is one thing, but, but, but keeping me from life is another. You have to let me live. I think she might be right. Rosie, what have we been doing? I don't know, Steve, but I think we've got this parenting thing all wrong. Everything from that moment changed. My parents used to treat me like I was a baby, even though I was 15, but that moment just changed their minds, thankfully. And I'm actually happy now. I have a friend and a boyfriend. I go places and I got to go back to school. Hey, Hannah, you ready to ride bikes? I sure am. And um, I was thinking we could go get ice cream. Yeah, great, I'll call Luke. We can see if he'll meet us there. Perfect, let's go. open. Ugh, this locker is so annoying. Hey, Molly. Good morning. Hey, Brookie. I can't open my locker. I feel like such a noob. Um, sometimes if you just hit it like this, it, it'll open. Holy guacamole, that actually worked. Molly, did you hear there's a new student in our school? Wait, what? There is? Have you talked to her yet? No, I don't want to talk to her. Seriously? You're like the most friendliest person on the planet. Why wouldn't you want to talk to her? Because everyone said she's, well, mean and insane. Really? Yeah, everybody's talking about it. Her name's Amanda. Well, Brookie, you can't always judge a book by its cover. Meaning, you can't always believe rumors that you hear. People can just, like, make up lies and stuff. I don't think so, Molly. Something tells me there's just something off about this girl. I saw her at the library this morning, and, well, she was acting kind of strange. Strange how, Brookie? Oh, Molly, there's the bell. We'll have to talk about it after class. I don't want to be late. Yeah, me either. I don't need detention again. I wondered when you were going to show up, Molly. Ah, like you need another detention. Hey, I'm here on time. I'm totally here on time. Wait, Brookie, is that the Amanda girl? Yeah, it is, but like I said, be careful. She seems kind of cray cray. All right, totally, I'll be, I'll totally be cool, but I still think we should be friendly with her. Okay, class, I want everyone to be quiet and to take out their English workbooks. First though, we have a new student. Would everyone say hi to Amanda, please? Hi, Amanda, nice to meet you. Now, Amanda, I know you're new here, but perhaps you could answer question number three. Just try your best. Of course I'll answer number three. I'd be happy to. I love school. I'm not a troublemaker. No, I didn't get kicked out of my old school for being a troublemaker or crazy or doing anything insane. No, 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 no. We just moved because, well, we wanted a change of scenery. Yeah, that's it. And Brookhaven seemed like the perfect change of scenery. <laughs> okay, yeah, problem number three. 
Uh, that's the question you wanted me to answer, right? It sure is, Amanda. <laughs> I'm so glad you love school so much, and you'll be a part of our Brookhaven community. So question number three is, tell the class about your summer reading. Well, I read Harry Potter, and my favorite part of the entire book was when Harry Potter died. <laughs> I thought that part was amazing. Holy guacamole, is she for real right now? That's the most horrible part of the story. Maybe Brookie was right. Psst, Molly, I told you she was crazy. I mean, the fact that he survived after all was kind of a bummer. Really lame, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, Amanda, um, thank you for that answer, <laughs> which was very interesting. But I'm glad you read Harry Potter. It shows that you read something over the summer, which is very very good. Okay, class. Yeah, there's definitely something strange about her. Psst, Brookie, meet me after class. I have an idea. Mmm, this pizza's delicious. Molly, what did you have to tell me? Why did you want me to meet you in the cafeteria? Well, I wanted you to meet me here because, mmm, I wanted to eat some of this leftover pizza. Molly, did you have something to tell me or not? Yeah, but kill two birds with one stone. I mean, I'm eating pizza. I'm going to tell you what I want to tell you. Ugh, Molly, you just spit pepperoni at me. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell you that that Amanda, she really does seem kind of insane. But there's only one way to really find out. Really? What is it? We have to go inside her brain. What? <laughs> inside her brain? Are you crazy? No, my sister and I have this special formula that if you take it, it shrinks you down and you can see what's inside someone's mind. It's very useful. I used it on my mom once. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. What if she's really crazy and we can't get out, back out of her brain? Oh, I never thought about that. But I'm sure everything will be fine. I heard her talking about how she was going to go to the gym. We should try to go into her brain there. There's Amanda playing basketball all by herself. That's because she doesn't have any friends because she says really weird and creepy things. Yeah, that was pretty creepy in English class today. So what are we doing here, Molly, anyway? We're taking this shrinking potion. We're going inside Amanda's brain. What? Are you crazy right now? I think she totally is. No, we just got to find out if she's really evil or if the rumors are true. I'll go first. Molly, I think this might be a really bad idea. Too late. I'm shrinking! Your turn, guys. Mmm, this actually tastes really good. I'm so glad I made it taste like mint chocolate chip. Daisy, not the point. Get shrinking already. Mmm, it is really good. Whoa, I think it's working. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. I feel super strange. Now we're ready to go inside Amanda's brain. Well, guys, here goes nothing! Bah! Did you find anybody to be my mommy yet? No, Wooly, not yet, but don't worry. I'm sure someone will be the perfect mommy for you. Hey! <laughs> I'm here to adopt an adorable little puppy. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have any puppies for adoption right now. But we do have one adorable baby left. What is it, like a cat? I could probably adopt a cat. No, it's a baby sheep. Bah, I'm Wooly. What, a baby sheep? That's so dumb. Why would I ever want to adopt a baby sheep? Ugh, they smell like a barnyard. Bah, actually, I take a bath all the time. I'm not smelly at all. I would make a perfect pet. Yeah, Wooly is one of our best, best animals we've ever had. He's super helpful and super sweet. Well, I guess he'll do. I'll sign the adoption paperwork. Really? You're going to be my mommy? Oh, I'm so excited. Bleh. Bleh. Mommy, what should we do first? I mean, you just adopted me. I'm so excited. First of all, stop calling me mommy. I'm not your mommy. Oh, bleh. Sorry. Second of all, you're going to go in there and take money from the Brookhaven Bank. No one would expect a sheep. Um, but uh, I, I, 
I, I think it's wrong to rob banks. I don't care. If you want to eat and I'm the only one who can feed you, then you better go rob that bank. Uh, bear. Okay, but I hope I don't get in trouble. Bear. I stole a bunch of money and I didn't even get caught. Amanda, now maybe you'll be my mommy because bear, I stole all the money and I didn't even get caught. What? Yes, you did. Look, here comes the police. Bear, run. Run, mommy, run. Don't call me that. Oh my gosh, I, bear, I can't go to jail. Bear. Oh, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in days. Oh. Hey, look, there's a cute little sheep. Oh, he's homeless. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Hey, maybe I could get you a, a muffin from Starbucks. Would you like that? Bah, please, I'm so hungry. Bah. Okay, little guy, don't worry. I'll get you something delicious. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, that was crazy. Whoa, that was kind of weird. Uh, must be I just have some earwax in my ears. Amanda, you're, you're, you're crazy and me. Why are you so tiny? Um, uh, well, um, just, okay, wait a minute. The, the potion's gonna wear off any minute. Now you two are small. What, what's going on? We went inside your brain and we know exactly what happened. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, we know about Wooly, Amanda. What? Who's Wooly? Exactly. You can't even remember his name. But he was a little sheep that you said you would adopt, but just you just had him rob the bank. Oh, yeah. He was really good at being my accomplice. <laughs> but once I was done with him, I was done. You're mean. I, I think what everyone's saying about you is true. It totally is. It's why I left Bloxburg. Because, well, I got kicked out of the town. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this girl Amanda is actually going to our school. Well, believe it, because I'm here to stay. <laughs> until I get kicked out, that is. But I plan on having a lot of fun till then. <laughs> Molly, I had to go potty so bad. <laughs> Well, I need something to drink. I'm thirsty. Wow, you babies have a lot of needs today. It's okay. Dora to the rescue. I will take care of both of you, and you'll both feel so much happier, I promise. I want poo poo in the party. I like it. Uh, Daisy, why are you wearing your karate outfit? Because I want to. I'm a baby, and I can do whatever I want. Uh-oh, I didn't make it to the party. <laughs> Daisy Peter Pants! Daisy Peter Pants! Be quiet, Molly! That's not nice! <laughs> I'm going to the kitchen for something to drink. I'm so thirsty! Ooh, that looks delicious! No, no, Molly! That's not for you! Don't drink that! Oh my gosh, that's a special potion! A potion? That's right! Never, ever drink that! Uh, okay. Daisy. What, Molly? Never mind. I'll tell you later. I'm about to get a baba. <coughs> ah, my belly's getting so full. Dora, will you sing me a song, too? Sure thing, Molly. La, 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 la. Doesn't the song have words? Oh, now I have to go to the bathroom. Be right back. Try not to prepare your pants like I did, or you'll have to go back to wearing pull-ups. Oh, man, I don't want to go back to being wearing pull-ups. That would mean I'm just like a little tiny baby. Ugh, I can't get out of the, to the potty myself. Ugh, ugh. Okay, maybe if I do this. Ah, that's better. Ah. And I didn't even pee, -pee in my pants. Such good news. I wonder what kind of trouble I can get into today at Twilight Daycare. <laughs> ah, ooh, lots of toys to play with. Nah, I'm going to go see what my sister's doing. Um, I want to tell you something. I can't wait now, Molly. I need something to eat. I'm really hungry. You're so needy. 
Well, you got something to eat and a drink and, and you got to go potty. Why don't I get that? Okay, dear. Na, 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 na. Here's some yummy baby cereal. I knew that song had words. La, 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 la. Huh, I'm not feeling so good. Maybe some of that special potion would make me feel better. Hmm. <laughs> she won't even know that I'm going to drink it. Buddy, what are you doing? You're going to get us in trouble. Stop it. Nah, nah, nah. I'm sure it's just fine. Wouldn't you rather have a black sea cola instead? No, I want to drink this potion and see what happens. Glug, 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 glug. Molly, are you okay? I don't know. I just saw something really funny. And now I I feel really funny. Molly, what, what's happening to you? Molly! Molly? You, 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 you're a, a minion. Molly, you, you even sound like a minion. Try to talk normal. And turned you into a minion. Oh, I'm gonna be without my sister forever. Daisy, I need a nap. And then the I think she's trying to say she'll go back to normal if she gets a nap. Okay, well, Marty, let's take you to the nursery. I hope you're different when you wake up, Molly, and not a minion anymore. <laughs> I feel the exact same. Oh, except for I can speak English instead of minion. <laughs> Molly, are you? Oh, no, you're still a minion. I feel fabulous. Whoa, that, this person looks like they're a cowboy. <laughs> Time to do some pranks. I, I'm not a minion. And I feel kind of jealous. Well, just take the magic potion and watch what happens. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa, mine came in the form of a cookie. Oh, this is the best potion ever. I feel kind of funny. Should I say cry minion? Just come right in here. We're too little. We can't even do it. We can't get in the bathtub. We need our caregiver, Dora. But when she sees we have a magic potion, she's going to be mad. Oh, hi, girls. Mm. Ah, we are both minions. Hey, wait a minute. Did you drink that magic potion? No, we ate it. Mm, it was a delicious chocolate chip cookie. Oh my goodness, that was supposed to be for our Halloween costumes. Ah, oh well, you two are pretty. Making me mad! Just kidding. Whoa, are you having an emotional breakdown right now? Well, no. I just need a vacation so bad. I can tell. You went through ten emotions in five seconds. <laughs> You're a stinky little minion, aren't you? Yeah. Whoa! I'll take a bath too! One minion at a time, Daisy. One minion at a time. Huh, oh, feels so good. That's probably because you took the potion that was meant for our Halloween costumes. Well, Halloween can come early, right? <laughs> I need to go to the hospital. That's a perfect idea, Molly. I bet they can reverse your minionism. I don't want to be anything but a minion. Okay, well. Let's see if there's any doctors here that can give you some medicine for your minionism. I want to be a minion forever! Me too. Okay, just take this medicine. I don't want you! Get away from me, lady! Oh, but you need it. Come on now. I want it. I want it! Here you go. I want to be a minion forever. What? 
I'm back to myself. Daisy, don't let her feed you the medicine. You, you can't be a minion anymore. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I want to be a minion. Now, Molly, you know you weren't supposed to eat that potion, and you did it anyway, so now you're going to get a timeout. No, I'm going to run. You won't even be able to catch me. You're too slow. Caught you. Time for a timeout. Ah, I want to be a minion forever. <laughs> Let go of me, lady. <laughs> I tricked you. Now, I've got to go get more of that potion so I can be a minion again. How do we get out of this hospital? It's so huge. Stop picking me up, lady. I'm, I'm done with you. You're fired. You can't fire me. You're not the boss. I'm making a break for it, Daisy. I'm making a break for it. Stop picking me up, lady. I'm going to be a minion whether you like it or not. Okay, wait a minute. I think I have some cookie crumbs in my pocket. <gasps> this potion will work perfectly. <laughs> I'm back to my minion self. Now I can go get into trouble. <laughs> Ooh, rides. Yeah, I want to take a ride. Blue walker. What? No, these are too expensive. It's okay, Marty. We can get this donut cup if you want. Oh, can I take a bite out of it? Molly, no! Hey, Minion Daisy, get back here! I want, I want to ride in the donut car. Sorry, only one Minion can fit. <laughs> well, at least we lost our caregiver. Woohoo! Now it's gonna be so fun to be a Minion. Minion wants to go swinging. Wee! <laughs> minion loves it. I love being a minion. Me too. Me too. Wait a minute. How did you become a minion? I was... I never stopped being a minion. Oh, yeah. My minion brain couldn't work that out. Well, how did you become a minion again? I had some of the cookie crumb potion in my pocket. I always save a little cookie for later. And I ate it. And... Ba -ba -da -da, I'm a minion for life! Oh, boy. I just... Um... Here comes Dola. Well, you know what to do then. Run! You'll never catch this little minion. <laughs> Come on, Molly. We're going to be late. What are you waiting for? I don't want to go to school today. Well, what's new? But this is preschool. It's not like you're going to get detention or homework. No, I know. I just, I don't want to go. If we're late, though, you might get a timeout. I don't want to go, okay? Sometimes I just I want to stay home, okay? Molly, that's ridiculous. You know we have to go here so that Mom can work and we can learn lots of good things. Just, I don't feel very good today. Don't try to fake being sick. Everybody know it's not true. Now, come on. Before we're late, I want to see all of our friends. Fine. But I'm telling you, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, why can't I get in? Hello? Let us in! Molly, come on. Let's just go into the baby entrance. I'm not a baby anymore. Oh, my stomach really hurts. Yeah, yeah, Molly. You're faking it. Everybody knows it. I I'm not faking it. I, I, I really don't feel good. Well, why don't you go to the bathroom and try to go poo-poo? That might make you feel better. I don't have to go poo-poo. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have to believe me. No one asked you to anyway. Oh, no. My stomach is really starting to hurt. Oh, man. I think I do actually have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope I make it in time. Oh, that's so embarrassing to have an accident. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to make it to the potty. Too late. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I went poo-poo in my pants! Oh! That's so embarrassing! Well, good morning, Molly. Ew, what's that smell? Uh-oh, did you have an accident? I didn't mean to, I promise, I didn't! <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to! It's okay, Molly, it's okay. We'll just, we'll just change your pull-up and everything will be fine, I promise. Oh! How embarrassing. It's all right. Trust me. Everybody has accidents when they're toddlers. 
I don't really feel good today. My stomach is really hurting. Oh, that's probably just because you're hungry. It is snack time. Come on, we'll get something to eat. No, oh, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to eat. It sounds really gross. No, you're probably just hungry. Did you know that if you get too hungry, your tummy can actually hurt? Now play with your toy and be good. Now come on, let's eat up. I'm telling you, I don't feel so good. I don't, I don't want to eat that baby food. Ah oh, la la, da da da, da 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 da, da da da. Molly says she doesn't feel good, but she's a liar. I'm not lying. Oh. Ew! Oh, yuck! You threw up on me. Oh, yuck! They don't pay me enough for this job to have babies throw up on me. Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. It's just, ew, throw up makes me really grossed out. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? I'm not sure. I don't feel so. <laughs> ew, now she threw up on me. Ew, she really is sick. Oh my, it looks like we're going to need to give you a bath, Molly. You're covered in throw up. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I just want my mommy. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to take you take very good care of you here, Molly, until your mom can come pick you up. Well, good luck. Our mom's at a business meeting today. She probably won't be able to pick us up for hours. Don't say that, Daisy. I want my mom. <laughs> Oh no, are you gonna throw up again? Don't throw up in the tub. Or on me! Oh, yuck! Oh no! I feel a little better though after I threw up so many times. I think you better take a nap, Molly. You're definitely sick with something. Maybe food poisoning or the stomach bug? Can I have something to drink? I feel so thirsty after throwing up so much. Of course you can, sweetie, but I think we should just give you some water and not milk, because milk can make your stomach upset when it already is hurting. I just want my mommy! <laughs> Molly, I promise I'm going to take good care of you. Okay. I guess I believe you. <laughs> I just don't feel good. I know, honey. It's going to be okay. La-da-da, la-da-da, la-da-da. It's gonna be okay, Molly. I think when you take a nap, you'll feel better when you wake up. I sure hope so. I don't wanna throw up anymore. Mm, it seems like you may have gotten it out of your system, sweetie. Now take a nice night-night and everything will be okay, I promise. Okay, just, just don't swing me around too much because I think I might throw up again. Daisy, what's wrong? I don't feel so good, my stomach hurts. Oh, don't fake it, Daisy. Molly, I'm not faking it. When have I ever ugh, faked anything? You're still faking it. I don't believe that was a real throw up. Molly, I just ugh, threw up twice. What are you talking about? I can't fake that. You probably gave me a stomach bug. What? No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, what's... Ew, gross. Another baby threw up. Oh no. It's the dreaded stomach bug. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all have it. I just know it. Every single parent, caregiver, and child at Twilight Daycare will get this. I don't feel so good. Ugh. Don't worry, Daisy. It only lasts a couple of hours, then it goes away. I'm feeling lots better. I can't believe you gave me a stomach bug. Oh, this is the worst. This is seriously the worst. Uh, hopefully nobody else is throwing up. Is everybody okay? No one's answering. Okay, um, I want to slime somebody right now and tell them that they that I have the stomach bug. Um, uh, let's see, who should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, Mo! You're about... Oh, I can slime everybody? How much does that cost? 50 Robux! Worth it! <laughs> okay, when's everybody gonna get slimed? When you all get... Wait, how did you pick me up? I don't want you to pick me up! Stop picking me up! 
Okay, I paid for everybody to get slimed. And, um, nobody got slimed. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, um, oh, whoa. Who are not Robux? No, no, no. Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Uh, yeah, no, not, not at all. Molly, are you back to your old antics of being a prankster? Me? No, not at all. Molly, you just dumped slime on my head. Molly, oh my gosh, you need to go to timeout. You can't give me timeout today. What? Why not? Because I was so sick with the stomach bug. Well, now you seem just fine. So now it's time for timeout. What? Don't you dare take me to baby jail. Don't you dare. Um, baby jail is exactly where you belong. Let me out. This is rude. This can't be happening. Let me out of jail. I don't like this. I want to go home. I want my mommy. I'm warning you, Taylor. You're not going to like what happens next. I want to get out of here. Let me out of time out. This isn't fair. And how did that work out for you, Molly? You're still not going to let me out. This is rude. God, I want to get out of here. Let me out. Ah! Molly, you can have more temper tantrums if you like, but then you're going to be in timeout even longer. You're so rude! Why is this happening to me? Ma! I'm not a bad kid, it's just because I pranked you and it was kind of funny. Molly, you're going to stay there so you can calm down. I'm never going to calm down! Do I look calm to you? Ma! This is making me so mad! <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I'm done having a temper tantrum now. <sighs> Okay, Molly, if you think you're done being a prankster and having your temper tantrums, you can come out and rejoin society. Okay, fine. I'll be good. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is going to be awesome. Purchased. <laughs> Where'd she go? I want to see this. Who just slimed me? Molly, was that you? Mo Molly, come back here. Not a chance, lady. I'm out of here. <laughs> Caught you. Back to timeout for you. No, I want to escape, please. Oh, okay, wait. I, I can't escape. It cost me 50 Robux and I'm poor. Let me, let me out of here. No. Okay, I can break the toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I just found out how you escape. Oh my gosh guys i just found an underground maze what underneath twilight daycare are you kidding me right now where's this go this is insane oh <laughs> oh my gosh i just escaped twilight daycare on baby jail and guys i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day at the beach chilling Without any rolls. This is amazing. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, after I got done having a stomach bug and stuff. Whoa! Look at that rubber ducky! Good thing I just learned how to swim. Rubber ducky, you're so cute! Ooh, and a unicorn? Yes, please! This sounds like my kind of day. <laughs> Daisy, do we have to go shopping for prom dresses today? Yes! Molly, the prom is on Saturday. Of course we do. We want to get an amazing dress, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't really know if I care about going to prom. Molly, how could you even say that? Prom is amazing. Well, I've heard it is anyway. I haven't been to one yet, but I know this year will be perfection. Okay, well, if you say so, let's go. Oh, no. Look who's in Rockstar. It's Sarah. Oh, look who it is. Sarah, what are you doing here? I'm, um, uh, looking for a prom dress. Duh. Oh, we are too. Um, hopefully we don't buy the same one or anything. Yeah, no. My taste in clothes is so amazing. You guys would never pick the same thing as me. Okay, if you say so. All right, let's try some stuff on. I know I'm going to look so cool in this. Uh, Molly, that's a tuxedo. Oh, yeah. Um, um, how about this? Uh, Molly, those are sweatpants. Can you try a little harder here? Ooh, I love this one over here. 
Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> Are you being assisted or helped by anyone? Uh, no. Where were you going to the bathroom or taking a lunch break or something? Like, no one's even welcomed us into the store. Wait, what? Sarah, you're supposed to welcome the customers. Why should she welcome the customers? She's a customer too! No, she's not. She works here. Uh, yeah, uh, uh... Wait a minute, you have a job? Aren't you rich? Uh, well, uh, like... Fine, whatever, but don't tell anybody at school. My dad lost his job and I'm trying to afford my prom dress. I'm never going to be able to afford it now. I, I'm only going to be able to work one week. That's not going to be enough. What? What did she say? Oh, Sarah, we know how much the prom means to you. Molly, can I see you over here for a minute? Whatever. I, I, I'll be there and I'll have a new dress somehow. Molly, we should... We should like pool our money together, whatever's left over from buying our prom dresses, and we could buy Sarah a prom dress. <laughs> buy Sarah a prom dress? Why would I do something like that? She's nothing but a rude bully to me 90% of the time. But Molly, she wants to go to the prom so bad. Why, so she can bully me the whole time she's there? Molly, what happened to your heart? It used to be so kind and caring. Yeah, but not towards bullies. Molly, that doesn't sound like you. I wish I could go inside your heart and see see what's wrong in there. Wait a minute. Maybe my new potion at the science lab could let me go into your heart. What? What are you talking about? No way. Molly, we have to know why your heart is so closed off. Fine. I guess we could find out. But I'm not buying her that prom dress. I'm not doing it. Okay, according to my calculations, this is going to work perfectly. Now, I'm going to need you to hold completely still. I think this is a terrible idea. Ay, of course you would. You've hardened your heart to the whole world. No, just to bullies and people who annoy me. And, well, um, anybody who gives me detention. Exactly my point, Molly. Now, I have to take the potion and shrink down. Ooh, Delicious! Is that the potion? No, it's a shamrock shake from McDonald's. But boy, is it delicious! Daisy, quit monkeying around! If you're gonna do this, let's do it! Okay, here we go. Gluck, gluck, gluck. Ugh, I should have made this taste more like the shamrock shake. Is it working? You still look like you're the same size. It'll work any minute now. I think this is experimental. It didn't work, Daisy! Hold on, be patient for a change. Oh, wow, I'm getting smaller! Whoa, this feels weird! Tell me about it! <whistles> Hi, little ducky. Oh, do you not have anyone to love you? <whistles> You're homeless? Oh my gosh, well, here's a delicious cheeseburger I just got from Starbrooks. Maybe you'd like to have some. <laughs> Aw, don't worry. I'll help you find the perfect home. Aw, look at Molly. She's helping that poor homeless dog to find a new family. And she's sharing her Starbucks cheeseburger with it. She must really feel like she's in a giving spirit today. I think I should name you, um, Chocolate Milk. <laughs> You're so adorable. Come on, Chocolate Milk. Let's go! Well, here's one time that Molly was definitely kind and her heart was wide open. Now I've just got to find others and to prove that she actually is kind-hearted. Hopefully I don't find anything evil in her heart. Huh, <sighs> that was the longest attention I've ever had. Oh man, oh, it's like 10 miles to my house. I don't want to walk that far. Oh, hey, Luke, what are you doing here so late at the school? Oh, I had basketball practice, and now I was going to ride my bike home, but I have a flat tire, and it's a 10-mile walk to my house. Oh, don't worry. I've got my little car here. I could totally give you a ride. Aww. You would? Seriously? Yeah, why not? Come on, hop in. Oh, my gosh, you're a lifesaver, Molly. Do you need money for gas? Nah, I've got enough gas for the both of us. Oh, Molly, 
Sorry. <laughs> I had a bean burrito for lunch today. Now, your house is this way, right? It sure is, Molly. You're a great person. Here's another time that Molly's heart was full of kindness when she gave Luke a ride home from school. Ah, oh, Molly, where did you lose your beautiful heart at? I better start taking some notes on this. Well, Ethel, if you can't pay for your bill, then you're going to have to come in the back and wash dishes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chef. I, I didn't realize that I, I didn't quite have enough, and I was so hungry. You know I am on a fixed income. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the restaurant rule. You have to do dishes if you can't pay the bill. But my arthritis is so bad. I don't know how I'll pay. What? He's going to make this old lady do the dishes? Nonsense! Hi, Ethel. Uh, my name is Molly, and you remind me so much of my grandmother. I was wondering if it would be all right if I just paid for your bill entirely because you just seem like such a nice lady. <laughs> like I said, you remind me of my grandma, and I love my grandma. Oh, dear. You would do that for me? Absolutely. Um, here, Chef. Here you go. Um, here's all the money for her bill and mine, too. Well, that's very nice of you, dear. Thank you so much. And um, make sure she gets some pie to take home, too. Any kind she wants. Oh, dear. You are the nicest girl in all of Brookhaven. Wow. Molly actually gave away some of her money to pay for Ethel's um, food? Holy guacamole. I've seen all that I need to see. Molly's heart is actually good. Whoa! Exiting! Daisy, whoa, that feels so strange. Ugh, get out of my heart. So, what'd you find? That I'm rude and cruel and mean, right? Um, on the contrary, Molly. I found out you're the most kind-hearted person in Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> no, seriously, Molly. All you have to do is remember that you're so nice. First, I watched you rescue a homeless dog. Then I watched you give Luke a ride home so we didn't have to walk ten miles. And then I watched you pay for an old lady's lunch at Brookhaven. Dino, you're definitely not a bad person. You just have to remember that you're very giving. But, but Sarah, she, she's a bully. Yes, she's sometimes a bully. But just because she's mean sometimes doesn't mean you have to be. You can be whoever you want to be. You need to like yourself when you look in the mirror every day. Hey, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, your actions are totally separate than Sarah's actions. Sarah can do whatever she wants, but at the end of the day, you have a clear conscience because you did what was right. Wow, I guess you're right. Besides, I like being nice. It makes me feel good. I guess we can pool our money together and buy Sarah that prom dress. Very good decision, Miley. I'm actually really proud to say that you're my sister. Really? That's a first. Yeah, you're really nice, actually. Except for that time that you decided to put slime in my pillowcase. <laughs> that was the best prank ever. <laughs> I should have won the best prank award. <laughs> We'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys are listening to Molly. I don't know why you get to be in charge. You're the most immature of us all. Daisy, be quiet. I'm in charge and I'm telling you, shh. Girls, be nice to each other. Your mom and I don't get a date night very often and I don't want to get a call on my phone that you guys aren't getting along. We'll get along, Dad. Bye. I don't I cannot believe what Brittany just said to Sadie. I know, right? Brookhaven High is getting crazy. Okay, well, we have to go and get her a diaper at some point. Yeah, in a minute, I want to watch this show. I go poo poo soon. I go poo poo. How about you go poopy in the potty? You know, like a big kid. No, I wear diaper forever. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I'm going to eat some popcorn. Mmm, this is delicious. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I had popcorn and a uh, and snack too. Okay, you can have some too. Here you go. I had that popcorn. Mmm, so good. <laughs> I had that 
in my dummy! O-M-G, having a baby sister is a lot of work. What was that? I didn't hear anything, Molly. Okay, I'm turning down the TV because I definitely heard something at the back door. There it is again! Well, I heard it that time too. It sounded really creepy. I wish mom and dad were home. I pray if I check what it is. No, baby Kara, we're... Baby Kara, no! We're all going to go together. I want to go. I think it sounds super creepy, Molly. Let me be Kira. And that's why I was left in charge. Because you're going to send our little sister to see if there's somebody outside? Creepy! She's too little for that. Come on, we're going to all go together. Fine, but I hope it's not like a burglar or something. They're going to rob all the money from our safe. And then we can't go on our trip to Florida. It's going to be fine, Daisy. It's probably just the wind. See, I told you guys, nobody there. Oh, boy, that was a little creepy. Whoa, the lights just went out. They're flickering. Oh, my gosh, it's definitely somebody breaking in. No, Daisy, it's... Daisy! It's not somebody breaking in. I think it's just the power's going to go out because it's really windy. Probably the trees are scratching against the house, making a really creepy sound. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm still going back upstairs. Yeah, I think we should, but I think everything's going to be fine. No one's breaking into the house or anything like that. Okay, well, let's just watch a movie. Or we could watch the rest of Brookhaven High. I heard the Brookhaven High! Yeah, let's watch the rest of Brookhaven High. This episode is crazy! Uh, Baby Kara, did you eat all the popcorn? Yeah, I did. Oh, baby Kira! Don't you have to go poo poo? Oh, well, let me know when you do and we'll change your diaper. Yeah, baby Kira. Or you could go in the party chill. No party! Okay, no party. There's that sound again. I know, Riley. I heard it too. But like you said, there's a storm that's going to happen outside, so the wind is really high. So it's probably just trees scratching against the house. Sounds like it's getting closer. Hmm, is it. At the front door? I don't... Wait a minute. What? What? Ah! Guys! There's a monster! It's at the, 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 the front door! What? What are you talking about? Don't prank me right now. Ah! She's not pranking! Everybody run to the panic room! Yeah, panic room! Good idea! <sighs> did you see that monster out there? I sure did, Molly. That was insane! Wait a minute. Where's baby Kira? Oh my god! She didn't make it into the panic room! What? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Oh, Baby Kira, I'm so glad to see you. I was so worried that the monster got you. Thank goodness Dad's a cop, so he's a bit paranoid about someone breaking into the house. Yeah, good thing he was. That monster would have gotten us if we hadn't had this t um, bunker to stay in. Yeah, <sighs> this panic room is definitely worth it. Well, I don't know if there's any snacks in here, but there's a bathroom and beds. What? No snacks? Don't worry, I have a uh, Reese's in my pocket. Mm. Molly, seal! Everybody might be hungry, or better yet, save it in case we're in here for a long time. Well, eventually our parents will come home. They'll see the monster and... And get kidnapped by the monster! We have to call somebody! Um, that's just the thing. I forgot my cell phone on the couch. Oh, brother! And Mom left you in charge! What was she thinking? I did not want my I did not want to go fire. What? Baby Kira, use your words. I'm not afraid because the monster can get us in here. Molly, do you hear that weird sound again? I do. What, what do you think it could be? I got that the button, a monster. What? Ah! He's trying to break into the panic room! Okay, let's just go over here, guys. Let's go over here. Uh, Molly, we could use a taser gun on him. No, I'm not going to open the door. That would be silly. We're, we're safe in here, right? Oh, no, but I don't I think so. Monster, what do you want from us? Uh, something tells me he doesn't speak English. Um... Uh, do you speak any language besides monster? <laughs> nope. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck in here. What if mom and dad don't come home for a bit of own time and the monster figures out how to get into a panic room? I don't think that can happen. This was built by the professionals, overseen by our dad, a police officer. He knows how to make a, pa a panic room safe. 
I just want mom and I have no way to tell her we're in here. Okay, Dizzy, it's going to be fine. Dad's a cop. When he sees the monster, he'll know exactly what to do. I hope so, Molly. This is freaking me out. I like Mantos. Mantos nice. No! Monster is not nice, baby Kira. Monster's me! I like Manto nice. Okay, where is the monster? Is he still there? Oh my god, he's still... Baby Kira, do not open the door! <sighs> well, I locked it so she can't. Good thing, Molly, because she thinks monsters are nice. That's it! We're never getting out of here! We're gonna be stuck in the panic room forever! But eventually, Mom and Dad will come home from their date, right? Uh, I hope so. Why are you running in circles? Because I'm bored and I want to get out of here. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. We be friends. Baby Kira, I told you already. The monster can't come in here. No, I go out to monster. What? But I locked the door! Oh, Baby Kira, you scared me. Baby Kira, what? Baby Kira! Don't go down the escape hatch! Oh, my God. Daisy, we have a problem. Huh. <sighs> Baby Kira just went down the escape hatch! What? Are you serious? That's a one-way exit! This means that, that she's gonna be out there with the monster! Oh my gosh, this is so bad! No! Monster, you stay away from my baby sister! Hi, monster! I come see you! Bye! Hi, monster! <laughs> ah! Baby Kira, run! Oh my gosh, babies are adorable, but not that smart when they're little. <laughs> they are constantly trying to get into harm's way. <laughs> Baby Kira! Okay, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to. Calling in the big dogs. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm freaking out! <laughs> Daisy, I need your help! Okay, she's going to be useless. i got to unlock this door. i got to unlock it. Why can't I unlock the door? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to tease you, monster! Whee! Wait, what? Ha ha ha! I babysit. Wait, what? You you just wanted to babysit? I like kids. They're nice. Wait, you look creepy though. Hold still, I'm still gonna tase you. Da, da, tase my friend. Monster nice. Monster not doing anything wrong. Okay, I'm totally confused right now. Why do you make all those weird sounds? Because he's a monster, we can't help it. I put my hands out to arrest. I'm not going to arrest you, baby Kira. But I may arrest this monster just because he's real creepy. What's going on out here? Why is baby Kira hanging out with a monster? Well, if you had paid attention, uh, instead of having your little moment of scaredy catness. Is that even a word, scaredy catness? No, it's not a word. Um, you would know that baby Kira has befriended the monster. Uh, this seems bad, Molly. Really bad. I like Manto, Manto nice. Whee! I'm not me. I just love me. Don't judge book by its cover. Oh, well, uh, I'll have to ask Mom and Dad if you can babysit. I'll be right back. I've got to get my cell phone. Well, it never fails, Molly. We always get a call on our date night. What is it? Ah, uh, this time it's really important. Um, uh, Molly, there's more popcorn in the pantry. No, uh, it's really important, Dad. The diapers are in baby Kira's, uh, her in her nursery. Honey, come on, let's go play this game next. Are you guys at the arcade without us? Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. What? You went to Dave and Buster's without us? That's so not fair. Marty, tell him what's going on. Okay, um, there was a monster at the door, and he... Seemed really mean, so we went into the um, panic room. Baby Kira escaped, you know. I'm sorry, I did my best, but she's kind of a troublemaker. What? What are you talking about, a monster? We're going to come home immediately. Oh, but I wanted to play this game. Laura, the kids are in trouble. No, no, not necessarily. Uh, Baby Kira got out and found out that the monster is actually really nice. He'd like to know if he could babysit us. Well, I mean, we could stay, stay at David Buster's if he's trustworthy, that is. Yeah, that's true, and I didn't play this new Star Wars game yet. Ooh, it looks so fun. Dad! Um, I don't know. A monster babysitting you seems like a bad idea. You're still in charge, Molly, and we'll be home in about 15 minutes. Okay. Sorry, my parents said no. What? Why does everyone judge me? Don't worry, Michael. You can come for dinner. 
Yeah, you can still come for dinner. My parents just have to be there to meet you first because, well, you're a monster and we have to make sure you're not a mean monster, but a nice monster. Okay, when's dinner? Tomorrow, four o'clock. Yeah, we'll make pizza. Wait, do monsters eat pizza? Of course. Delicious. <laughs> See you then. Molly, guess what? I heard there's a new student at Twilight Daycare. Really? Uh, is she nice or is she mean? I heard she's cray cray and super mean and no one wants to be her friend. Wow, that sounds super harsh. Why would no one want to be her friend? Well, they said that she's just, she's crazy. I don't believe what other people say. They're just probably making that up. Besides, <laughs> I'm pretty cray cray myself. Yeah, especially when you have a temper tantrum. Then you're really cray cray. Or when you need to eat a cupcake because you're starving. Yeah, exactly. And cupcakes happen to be my favorite. <laughs> I say we find this new girl and we try to make friends with her. I mean, she's probably super nice. Ooh, there's Mr. Monkey. I love Mr. Monkey. Maybe I'll introduce her to my favorite toy and then she won't feel so alone. Aww. Oh, Molly, that's super sweet. You go pick your favorite toy, and you can show her um, yours. But before we meet her, let's go to the kitchen and get a snack. Good idea, Molly. I'm starving. No one wants to be my friend, and I don't understand why. Oh, who's that? That must be the new girl. She seems super sad. Hi, um, I'm Molly, and oh, man, you're crying. Um, hi, I'm Amanda, and um, please be my friend because no one no one else wants to be. Are you the new girl? Um, yeah, I, I, I just moved here from my old town. Well, I'm Daisy. And I'm Molly, and we heard that you were the new girl here, and we decided to bring you our favorite toys. Oh, that's, that's nice. Um, but I really have to go potty. Do you know where the potty is? Yeah, I'll show you. Well, I need a drink, so I'll meet up with you guys in a little bit. I'm super thirsty. I need some milk. Um, wait. Okay, yeah. It's over here. <laughs> For a minute, I forgot where the potty was, Amanda. So, how are you liking Twilight Daycare? So far, I don't like it a lot because no one wants to be my friend. They all said that I'm mean and crazy, but I don't really know what they're talking about. Me either. You seem super nice to me. Ugh, I'm super hungry. That monkey looks kind of delicious. Wait, what? You, you, you're kidding, right? No, I'm gonna bite off one of his ears. I'm super hungry. What? No, stay away from my monkey. He's my favorite best friend at Twilight Daycare. Oh my gosh, maybe what they said was right. Ah, why is somebody silly stringing me? Princess Cupcakers, don't, don't silly string me. Daisy, we have a problem. What, what is it? Ah, oh, that milk was so good. Now I kind of need a nap. Um, uh, uh, Amanda, she's, she's as crazy as we thought. What? We, we don't even know her yet. Trust me, I know her. She wanted to bite the ear off Mr. Monkey. What? Mr. Monkey? Oh my gosh. Yeah, and the worst part is, is I have to go to the bathroom and Amanda's still in there. I'm afraid to go back in there. I'm afraid for Mr. Monkey's life. Oh, wow. Well, um, I'm hungry now, so I can't help you. Good luck, Molly. Oh no, this Amanda girl, she seems kind of mean and crazy. Don't worry, Mr. Monkey, I'll protect you at all costs. Whoa, there's another little baby that looks just like Daisy. Um, She's gonna think that is cray cray. Oh good, Amanda's gone. All right, now I can sit on the potty in peace. <laughs> Excuse me, Ada Bean Burrito. Hey, little baby, go on. You're not big enough to go potty on the potty chair. There you are. I thought that you were going to just, like, run off on me, especially since I need to eat something. Now give me that monkey. What? No, you can't eat Mr. Monkey's ear. Get away from me, Amanda. No wonder she doesn't have any friends. Come on, Mr. Monkey. We'll eat a cookie and everything will be all right. I can't reach the cookie jar. Well, that's okay. I'll just put Mr. Monkey down and I will get a cookie and then share it with Mr. Monkey. Mr. Monkey, I've got a cookie for you. Amanda, put Mr. Monkey it down. I don't see your name on him. He belongs to Twilight Daycare. I can play with him if I want to. What? No, that's my monkey. Actually, he looks pretty tasty to me. You bully. G give him back. Absolutely not. See you later. <laughs> what a baby.
Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Wow. Hey, baby, why are you following me, me everywhere? I did that boy today. Okay, but I'm not your caregiver. Oh my gosh, that baby is following me everywhere. Mr. Monkey has been kidnapped, and Amanda the Adventurer is cray cray. I really, I really, I really want my monkey back. I really need a nap. Daisy, there's no time for naps. I, 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 <laughs> I lost Mr. Monkey. What? What are you talking about? What, what do you mean you lost Mr. Monkey? Is anyone even paying attention to me right now? I lost Mr. Monkey! And I'm super upset about it! And there's this baby and he won't leave me alone! It keeps following me everywhere and, and, uh. Okay, Molly, calm down. Tell me exactly what happened. I don't feel good. I had that temper tantrum and now my stomach hurts. Okay, Molly, calm down. Okay, I... <laughs> I'm trying to, but my stomach hurts. I need Mr. Monkey. Molly, who took Mr. Monkey, or did you just misplace him? I put him down so I could get him and I a cookie, and that crazy Amanda the Adventurer took him. Oh, don't be such a little baby. He can be played with with anyone who comes to Twilight Daycare. But everyone knows I like Mr. Monkey the best, Daisy. Molly, first thing I think you need to do is get some medicine for your stomach. What? No, I'm fine. Just kidding. Oh, man. Oh, boy, Molly, you just threw up on those babies. Um, ask the caregiver if she can take you to the hospital. Um, uh, caregiver, I need to go to the hospital. Okay, it's okay. Come on, right this way. I will take you right to the hospital. What seems to be the problem? I'm, I'm not feeling so... Oh my goodness, ew, totally gross. Okay, um, you probably just need some medicine. Here you go. Ah, ah shoo! Ugh, that tastes terrible. Okay, but try not to throw it up, okay? But it tastes terrible! I don't, don't want to eat that! It's okay, everything's going to be fine. La, 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 la. No, please, please don't put me to sleep. Ugh, please don't put me to sleep. La, la, Stop singing to me, lady. La, 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 la. Here you go. I also need you to have um, some of this delicious food. What? No, I don't want the food. Get it out of my mouth. I need to find. I need to find a man of the adventure so I can. I can. I can. I can get Mr. Monkey back. Oh my! Did one of the other kids take Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I feel really sad about it. Okay, well, let's see if we can resolve this issue. But first, maybe you should take a nap. You seem pretty sleepy and grumpy. No, I need Mr. Monkey to take a nap. <laughs> oh, poor little baby. All right, well, let's see what we can do about this, and then you can take a nap, okay? Okay. There's a man of the adventurer now! Well, it's not really her toy. Why does she get to have it? Uh, she had it first, Amanda. I think you should let Molly have it. Fine. Whatever. Have it, baby. Now I can actually take my nap because I have Mr. Monkey back. Mr. Monkey, I missed you so much. You're my best friend. Dana, Amanda took my Mr. Monkey again. Oh my goodness, she did? No, I didn't. I'm over here. I didn't take him. But, but I'm sure that she did. She's, she's so mean. She's bullying me. Well, that's not very nice to accuse her of that. I think you need to go to timeout. What? No, not me. She has my Mr. Monkey. I can't believe I'm in timeout. This really stinks. Hi, Molly. Does this monkey look familiar to you? What? How'd you get... Wait a minute. You did steal Mr. Monkey. <laughs> And his ears are going to taste delicious. <laughs> mm, yum, yum. Mr. Monkey! No! Mr. Monkey! <laughs> Amanda, you're such a bully! <laughs> hey guys, today my sister Daisy and I are playing Guinea Pig Simulator! 
Oh my gosh, Marley. I love this game so much. It's so much fun. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adorable guinea pig. So you get to choose their hair and their eyes. If it's me, personally, I think the red eyes are kind of creepy. <laughs> um, and those all eyes are kind of weird too, but... Um, you can also choose the color fur that you want your guinea pig to be. Like, you can be a white guinea pig, gray, um, I think that's supposed to be black, brown, light brown, and sort of this, like, yellow color. And I think the yellow color is what I actually like the best with the black eyes. So, this is the guinea pig that I am right here. <laughs> Look at me! I'm the fattest guinea pig ever! I've been eating way too much kibble, guys. <laughs> That's guinea pig food. Like, literally, what have I been eating that... Oh my gosh, those two guinea pigs are kissing. <laughs> That's so cute. They're in love. Anyway, um, I am a super fat guinea pig. Yes, I know this. Now, where is Daisy? Hey, what are you doing? Are you Daisy? That must have not have been um Daisy. Molly, I'm over here. I'm the jumping guinea pig. Oh, are you trying to steal all the food? I'm hungry. Let me eat it. Marty, I doubt you need to eat more food. Look at how chubby you are. Hey, look who's talking, Daisy. You're no skinny mini. You look chubby, too. Well, we're guinea pigs. We're supposed to be cute and cuddly and chubby. Daisy, stop it. Stop being in the food. You're going to make a poo-poo in the food. Come on, get out of there. Oh, well. No, not oh, well. Yucky. Get out of there. Okay, fine, Marty. Jeez. Ew, Daisy! You did! You did it! Oopsie, sorry, guinea pigs don't know any better. Yeah, okay, well, now you ruined the food, yucky. Daisy, stop jumping on me! Sorry, <laughs> I was just trying to be as annoying as a little sister as you are as a big one sometimes. Look, Daisy, we're guinea pigs now, not sisters. We're sister guinea pigs! I like all the tunnels and stuff you can go through in this game. I think it's really cute. Oh, look, it's like a toilet paper roll. Can I go in here? <laughs> Daisy, maybe we should play guinea pig hide and seek. What do you think? I love it, Molly. I love it. Let's do it. Okay. So whoever is it has to go stand over here by this orange toy, okay? And then they have to count to 15. Who's it first? Not me. Molly. Sorry. Okay, I'm just not it. Okay, ready? On your mark. Get set. Hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm too fat. I can't get through this. Oh, my gosh. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ready or not, here I come. Oh my gosh, here comes my sister. I hope she doesn't find me. This, when I push these buttons, they're supposed to make me like squeal, but I can't hear anything. What is on my back? Ew, it's a bug! Just kidding. <laughs> Do you guys see her anywhere? I don't think she knows where I am. Okay, all these guinea pigs are going by, but no daisy. Molly, you didn't hide very good. Well, it's not my fault. My brain's the size of a guinea pig. Okay, yeah, Molly. Whoa, you can run really fast as a guinea pig. <laughs> That's way too much exercise. I'm too fat for that. <laughs> okay, Daisy, now I'm going to hide. I mean, you're going to hide, and I'm going to count. Yeah, Molly, what are you saying? You can't hide twice in a row. One, two. Close your eyes, Molly. Three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ready or not, Daisy, here I come. There's so many guinea pigs that look like my sister. I don't even know which guinea pig is Daisy. <laughs> Seriously, how do I know which guinea pig is Daisy? Did Daisy have red eyes? Excuse me, are you Daisy? Excuse me. Okay, that's not Daisy. Okay. Well, maybe I should go up here. Wait, no, I don't know where I am. I'm so confused! 
I bet she's way up there somewhere. But now I have to remember how to get there. Wait a minute. I think if I go this way, I'll be good. First, I need a drink. Ah, that's better. Do, 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 bop, bop, ba, do, do, Daisy, where are you? I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? Do, 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 I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button. Come on, guys, give this video a huge thumbs up. Okay. I have no idea. Whoa! Wait, Daisy, I see you! I see you, Daisy! Oh, Molly, you found me! <laughs> I almost fell and couldn't find you. Hey, Chubby, get out of the way! Molly, you're talking to me right now. Oh, there's so many other guinea pigs that look like you, seriously. Come on, Molly, get out of the guinea pig elevator. Whoa, I'm gonna fall! Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Oh, man, that really stunk because, ow. Seriously, I'm a fat guinea pig. Okay, let's go see what, there, what other things there are to explore in here. I thought we were playing I didn't see. Yeah, but now I've decided I need to get out of here. Oh my gosh! Look at this little place where you can sleep. It's like a guinea pig bedroom. This is adorable. Look at that little cute stuffed animal. Molly, we could sell this room. No! You can have that room. Let me see what's in this one. Okay, there's... there's ugh, I'm too fat! I can't fit! Here. Ugh. Ugh, why am I so fat? Oh, I need to go on a guinea pig diet. Oh, I totally do. Okay, this this bedroom is like way too much effort. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck in the tube. Ah, help me! Just kidding, I'm okay. Where am I gonna go now, though? I I don't know. Should I go up there? We should go up there. Excuse me, Mr. Guinea Pig. Oh, traffic jam! Traffic jam in the tunnel, guys. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. One time, my family was um, going to New York City. And there's these tunnels that you have to go through to go to New York City. And our car had a problem. And it broke down right in the middle of the tunnel of New York City. And all these cars were behind us. Oh my gosh, it was insane. I feel like that time right now because I can't get out of here. And I'm stuck in this tunnel. Oh, 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 oh now I'm falling. Falling. Daisy, is that you in front of me? Nope, you have red eyes. You're not Daisy. Oh, this other kitty pig said hi to me. Hi! Okay, I'm out of here. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Whoa! This kitty pig's jumping. Okay. Whoa! Ugh. Don't try to go in that second bedroom. It's not a bedroom. It's like a tunnel to nowhere. They're just trying to trick us guinea pigs so we can never escape. I just want to go outside. Is that too much to ask? Look how beautiful it is out there. There must be a way out. Daisy? Daisy? Molly, I think I could find a way out. Follow me. Um, if you would stop doing poopies, then I'd follow you. Oh, sorry, Molly. It's just what happens when you're a guinea pig. Whoa, Daisy, where are you going? I found a way out. Okay, well, now I just feel re really, really silly because... Um, that was so much easier than I ever thought. It's okay, Molly. Guinea pigs have small brains. It's not your fault. Whoa, Daisy! You're going so fast! Look at me! Look at me! I'm like, oh, too fat for this! Come on, Molly, let's go! Whoa, we can't get out! What? Oh, okay, so seriously, look at me. I'm so much chubbier than you right now. Haha! <laughs> Where else can we go in here? That's what I want to know. Oh, maybe we can escape up here. There's no way out! Daisy, we're stuck in here forever! Okay, where's my sister? Did she figure out how to get out? There's got to be, like, some way to get out. I just know it. Nope, there definitely isn't. They closed the door. We cannot get out of here. What's up here? Let me up! Let me up! Okay, I don't know where my sister went. I'm right here, Molly. Did you find a way out? Molly, there's no way out. We're stuck 
is guinea pigs forever! Ah, another long day of students at school. Ugh, is it spring break yet? Come on, class, come on. You're gonna be late, let's go. Everybody into their seats. Ugh, I can't believe I'm at school. I can't wait until I fly to the Bahamas next week for spring break. Ugh, I better call and book a reservation for a pedicure beforehand. Oh, look, it's math class, one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> good morning, Daisy. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Smith. Why are you wearing your pajamas? Wait, is it Spirit Week? I miss Spirit Week. I, I didn't even realize it was wearing your pajamas to school day. No, I just didn't feel like getting dressed. I need a break from teaching. I need a break from my life. Oh! Whoa, Mrs. Smith, you're going a little cray cray. <laughs> I guess you really do need a break from school. Oh, this must be the right place. Oh, class, look, it's your new student, Lucas. Lucas? Who's Lucas? Oh, my gosh. Um, hi, I'm Daisy. Oh, hey, I'm Lucas. Daisy, where's your sister, Molly? Oh, she caught the flu that the rest of the class got, so she's at home in quarantine. Oh, my gosh, you only have three students today? Oh, I think we could have canceled school, right? No, no, no. Of course not, Mrs. Smith. We all want to be here. Okay, well, study your multiples quietly, please. Oh, I, I'm not familiar with this book. My school, my old school used a different book. Daisy, do you know what page multiples are on? Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> they're on, um, page 65. Oh, okay. Thank you. Attention. May I have your attention, please? Wait, what? What? An announcement? <laughs> Mrs. Smith fell asleep. <laughs> Our janitor has had an accident, and we would like some good Samaritans to help us with his job for the next week. We can have volunteers signing up today after first period. Thank you. Oh my gosh, the janitor got in an accident? I wonder how that happened. The entire school needs to be clean, including the roof. Oh, too bad it's freezing out here. Oh, 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 this is making it a little slippery. All this water is freezing just as quickly as I mop it onto the roof. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, my leg, I think it's broke. Someone call 911! Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Smith. Yes, new student, what can I help you with? I'll sign up to help um, do the janitor's job. I, I, I like doing community service. I love community service too. Yeah, that's it. So, um, I'll sign up. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably sign up so you can be near Lucas. Sarah, be quiet. That's not true. Okay, class, you're dismissed. Oh, just four more days until spring break. <laughs> My new teacher seems kind of burned out. All right, let's see. Where do I go for these signups again? Into the principal's office? Oh, hi there. I've never seen you before. You must be the new student. Yeah, my name's Lucas. Well, I'm the principal. Hi, principal. Hi, Lucas. What can I do for you? You're missing your next class. Oh, I'm sorry. I came to sign up for the um, community service project to help do the janitor's work while he's in the hospital um, recouping from his accident. Oh, sure, here you go. Just fill out this paperwork, please. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just humming because I don't have a lot of work to do today. It's almost spring break, you know. Hi, um, I want to sign up for the janitor's work, too. Really, Daisy? The science fair is coming up. Usually you just want to concentrate 100% on that. No, no, I have time. Um, I'll just take the paperwork, please. Okay, Daisy, if you're sure you can juggle it all. Uh, yeah, I'm positive. Hi, Lucas. Oh, hey, Daisy. Looks like we're going to be doing the janitor's work together. Uh, yeah. Uh, who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, um, well, I'll see you around. See you after school for, you know, community service and stuff. Bye. Uh, why do I talk like a crazy person around Lucas? 
Oh, I need to learn to be calm and collected, or I'm just going to look like a total goofball. Well, here's the janitor's closet. I guess this is where I'm going to get all the supplies. It says no students allowed, but I did sign up, so I'm pretty sure that I'm allowed to go in there. What are you wearing? I, I, I thought we were supposed to wear janitor clothes. Oh my gosh, I look so ugly. Oh, don't worry about it, Daisy. I think you look kind of cute. What? Really? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, for a janitor. <laughs> yeah, for a janitor. Well, come on, let's go get the supplies. Wow, the janitor has a bunk bed? That's pretty amazing. Look, here's the broom, Daisy. And a mop bucket. With the two of us, this job's gonna go super fast. Um, yeah, I, th I think so too. <laughs> Are you feeling a little shy, Daisy? Uh, um, me? No, not at all. Okay, well, I mean, we won't get to talk much while we're doing all these chores, but we could talk, you know, after the chores are done. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that that would be nice. Um, Daisy, d did you lock the door? What? No. Uh, okay, well, it won't open. What? Are you serious? I think it's jammed. Uh-oh. Do you have the janitor's key? No, they didn't give me the janitor's key. Did they give it to you? Um, no. Daisy, I think we might be, um... Stuck in here. What? Stuck in here? Are you serious? What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to wait until the morning when everyone comes back to school and, um, well, lets us out. O. M. G! Ah! Don't worry. Um, I have some snacks we could share. Really? Well, I am kind of hungry. Um, but is there any possible way we could get out of here? Look, I know you're a little uncomfortable around me, Daisy. I get the impression that you don't really like me. Don't really like you? Um, that's not it at all. Um, okay. Well, then why do you act so shy and like you don't want to talk to me? It's because, um, well, uh, I really like you. Wait, really? You don't, you don't know me that well. You just seem really nice. Um, you do community service and... You like school, and you're really cute. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> you're really cute too, and nice, and you seem like you're really smart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say? Want to hang out with me for 24 hours? Since we're already stuck in here. Okay, what snacks did you pack? Mm. I saved some of my pizza from lunch. Want some? Sure, why not? It's pretty good, actually. Mm. Mm. Ooh, it is good, even though I'm stuck in your pocket all day. <laughs> Nothing like eating pocket pizza! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least it's, well, kind of smushy. <laughs> what other snacks do you have? I got a donut from Starbucks this morning. Mm, it's really good. Oh my gosh, you have a lot in common with my sister Molly. <laughs> Here, you want a bite? Sure, why not? Starbucks makes the best donuts, don't they? They sure do. So, Daisy, tell me a little about yourself. You seem so interesting. Oh, thank you. Well, I love science. I even created my own science lab where I created a time machine. Wait, what? You're like brilliant. And you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Mm. Well... I don't have much to say because my mouth is full of food. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. Yeah, and you're nice. And you're smart and cute. Well, I guess this is, could be like our first getting to know each other date. A date? Really? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Aw, Lucas, you're cool. Daisy, you're awesome. I'm kind of glad I got stuck in the janitor's closet with you. I'm kind of glad too. <laughs> <laughs>